Okay, so now let's look at how to get your Gigglebot to go in a circle. And the first thing to do, of course, is to go and get the Gigglebot codes. So you need to scroll down to where it says extensions. And you'll notice that these are where you will find extensions for different things. None for Gigglebot listed, so you need to type in Giggle. Do a search on that. And then click the one with the tick. You found the main package for the Gigglebot. And it downloads that onto your interface. And now you should have the uh, Gigglebot codes. So we could do it on a start event. Uh, or on a button A or anything like that. Um, I would normally, when you're doing with robotics and you press a button or something, you want enough time to get your hand away or to be able to put it down on the floor. So I would normally put in something like a pause to start with. So just, whoops, where's my pause? There we go. So just put a pause for about five seconds or something to give yourself enough time to um, you know, to put the bot down on the floor, whatever it is. And then if we look at the Gigglebot commands, you'll notice that there's all kinds of things available, but the one that we want is about steering. So steering towards the right, and obviously you could make steering towards the left as well. And what this does is it advances one wheel faster than the other, so that uh, it kind of makes a steering motion. It's moving towards that direction. And, and so what we're going to do is, if you look at the manual for the Gigglebot, they suggest steer 25 towards the left. So that's 25 degrees. And if you're doing that, then your robot should go around, keep steering, keep steering, keep steering. It should come back to where it was. So... That's all that's really necessary. Sweet and short.